right, so first, congratulations on season three. And uh, what, without giving away any spoilers, what can we expect from Leon in season three? Is there a chance that he could find love? You know, I was just talking about that. Unfortunately, things are just, the, the, the stakes are too high this season. So Leon has had to uh, step away from the dating pool. Um, and so he's a very, he's, uh, he's all business this season. Uh, <laughs> I can't wait to see that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, mean, I hope someday, I hope someday Leon can settle down. Because I think he'd be an amazing father and, uh, and a great husband. So I hope, you know, I hope that's something that uh, Dana wants to explore soon. Maybe that Russian uh, mail order bride has finally made it across, uh, across the ocean. We shall see, I guess. <laughs> I, your comedic timing in the show is so incredible, and there's a lot of physical comedy. How do you like keep up with all of that? Is, is are there any mem memorable moments or maybe challenges that you've had with the physical comedy? Um, the heat in Georgia, can, you know, <laughs> and and Janet and I are uh, usually uh, head to toe polyester, so uh, yeah. that's a little bit of uh, it, it. It does two things. It, uh, I feel absolutely ridiculous when I'm in it, you know, because, because it's so uncomfortable and uh, uh, I'm just really grateful to have some high waters, basically, in my, my uh, uniform. So it, it definitely, it's a very comfortable uh, uh, costume to step into. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it's a lot of... Uh, a lot of sweating, but we we, t we 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 only have like two or three takes. Uh, we move very fast. We we shoot the entire season in 24 days. Wow. Um, so because of that, it's um, I don't know. It almost is. I mean, I guess now it's season three. It's that the pressure is no longer there. I don't think any of us feel it. We know that's the circumstances. We know that we move at a really breakneck pace, and so uh, there's kind of a priority to keep things fresh. And, uh, and to improvise, and Dana's always there, and if he comes up with something, he throws that out there, and we all have a, a, a chuckle about it, and then we, <laughs> we incorporate it and we execute it. Uh, so, yeah, it just, it's a very silly set, and I'm grateful for that, because it lends itself to, to taking big risks, and, uh, um, and especially like for Deborah and I to play such ridiculous <laughs> characters, we kind of need that, uh, uh, you know, that kind of juvenile, childish energy yeah, yeah. to be on set. And it, thanks to Dana, it's always there. I love that. I think that's what balances the horror is your character, you and uh, and uh, Denise, the characters are just brilliant. So, oh, yeah, congratulations so again, Nate, on season Thank three. You. Thanks for taking time to meet with me today. Tune in a Halloween for the season three premiere of Stand Against Evil. Yes, that's my entertainment, guys. What is yours?